different types of lines. There's going to be vertical. There's also going to be curvilinear. And there's going to be horizontal. Um, these are going to be organic figures, so it's going to be curvilinear. If you look at this gentleman's bow, it's a curved bow, which implies movement. And if you look at his arms, it makes an implied line even all the way through the ear. So that's an implied line also. So this suggests movement just on this side. Now if we go over here to this side, the cowboy's lasso is a complete circle. That's a curved line, so that's movement. And if you look at the way the horse and the bull are aiming down, it's going to be shading. In this case, it's going to be hatching and cross hatching. If you can get close enough over here, you can see on this hill, the hatching, which is a parallel lines, and then the cross hatching, which go perpendicular. And then in the cactus, for example, you can see more of it, more cross hatching and hatching for the details. So it's not so much chiaroscuro on this side of the image, but on this side of the image for volume and for, for shading, in his drapery there is chiaroscuro to his shape. These are obviously organic figures, so obviously they're not gonna be geometrical shapes, but there is some geometrical shape right here with this Indian on top of this rock. The top of the triangle would be his head and the two bases would be the bases of the rock. This suggests an implied shape of a geometrical triangle. So the focal point in this case is going to be the Indian. Now let's look at the cloud and how the light shines onto him. And let's look at these clouds over here and how it's raining. Now, the light on this side of the rock is more happy. See, for example, this fire adds emphasis to this family over here. His eyes are looking at her as she draws on this pottery. The little boy is also looking at her. So the artist, who is unknown, wanted to give emphasis to this family. It's going to be low key, I believe, except for the skies, maybe high key. For the most part, they're warm colors. This takes place in a in a southwestern Texas, maybe southwest American land. At the texture of this, the texture of this is not going to be actual because you can't actually physically touch the painting or the mural, I mean, but it does have visual texture. Look at the scales on the rattlesnake, which also goes to show that this has to be southwest America. Atmospheric perspective, also along with uh, with vertical placement because if you look at the at the rattlesnake compared to the bull they're almost about the same size the family over here with the flute and the boy they're going to be in the foreground of the painting the middle ground is going to be the pueblo right here and then the background is obviously going to be the mountains that kind of diminish into a atmospheric perspective. You see a man with a sombrero. Remember, Mexicans came about because the Spaniards came over to the new land and then they, they had interracial marriages with the, with the native people, which was the Indians, and then those people became mestizos and then those people basically were called Mexicans. So this has to take place when they're building pueblos still. Also, look at this man who is in the outhouse. So this has to take place when we were trying to still conquer certain native tribes.